Hello folks, welcome to part 7 of Miss Pac-Man Maze Madness, and that's right, here we are with two gems, and you can see we are going into the Chinese zone. Why is it Chinese? Because we have a dragon in the middle of the screen, do you see that? Last time it was a snowflake, and before that was a pyramid, but now it's a dragon. And so here we are in Pac-Ping Harbor. Begin. Ooh, a new cutscene. The gem of wisdom lies somewhere in... Pack Ping Harbor. All right, off to the Gem of Wisdom. And that's a crazy-looking dragon going there. Oh boy, being chased at the same time. Seems like he's catching up to us. Here we go. We did an awesome job there. And now we're going to speak to Professor Pack again. This odd device below is a rotating gate. Enter it, then press the controller in the direction you want to exit, then press again. Gates shield you on three sides from ghosts and other enemies. I tried to invent a four-sided gate, but I could not figure out how to get into it. That's right. And then how would you get out? You don't need that. So we're gonna keep going. What is that, anyway? That's just a little bell that's ringing around there. Ring dong ding dong. We've got a checkpoint. So these are a uh, unique contraption here, along with the TNT crates that we have once again. We're going to need to use Golden Reset Token a few times so that we can get everything, such as the red key. Indeed. Red this time. How do you like the music for this zone? Pretty nice, isn't it, folks? Alright. Just push them one at a time. Oh. Alright. We're still going to have to keep going there, now. Yep. Indeed. We have to wait for that one to explode, and then we can go over here. So how has your week been, folks? Hopefully it's been alright. We've been kind of busy here, but we have enough time for another Let's Play. Did we miss something back there? Let's go make sure, just to know what we're doing. Indeed, we did miss a few things here. Alright, we can explode things one at a time. The puzzles are going to be going a little bit harder here, but uh, it shouldn't be that hard for us. Isn't that right, folks? Alright. And, uh, going along. Uh oh. I don't think those seagulls can harm us, but we do have a little trap here that can. It's like a little uh, fire or something. Whatever it is, it can hurt us, though. And we don't want it to. <laughs> we need to find the uh, set token now. Ooh. All right. It's a rocket or something. Here we go. I'm going to explode that crate. And then we'll get our second fruit. But see that? When it lights up, it means it's about to shoot whatever it shoots out there, which is very harmful. It's like uh, some explosive kind of thing. And uh, if it's right on the TNT crate, then that'll blow it up. And if we're right next to the TNT crate, of course, we're going dead as well. Uh-oh. Ooh, look at these guys. Well, there are many TNT crates, but I don't think they kill us instantly. And however, we can destroy their generators. We just took some damage over there. It's okay. Boom, we get 100 points for destroying the generators. Whoa, taking even more damage. That's okay. We got a heart. Uh-oh, shouldn't have done that. That's all right. Here we go. We still need to push this TNT crate over there to open the path for the next place. And perfect, we have another heart for us. Alright. So here, got a simple layer of dots. I'm not sure if anything's over there, but it doesn't look like it. That's right, don't worry, those little bells won't harm us done for us. All 
right. Checkpoint, indeed. Explode that. And then... We're gonna be, uh... You see, this is a bridge. It's like a floating over space, though. It doesn't look like we're, uh... In the water. Because those look like stars down there. <laughs> oh! Uh, the hidden trap got us. Oh. It's going again. Ooh -hoo. All right. We just need that little fruit there. Yeah. Very good. And I'm not sure how we're getting that. I think what we have to do is push this out of the way, push that over there, and then you see how there's a little hole in the ground, we're going to try to push this TNT crate into the hole. Oh, but we can't because that goes somewhere else. Alrighty then. Alright, here we are. Now we're going to push that into the hole, wherever it may be. Uh-oh. Try again. <laughs> Alright. Coming around, and we've got uh, another extra life. Alrighty. Seems like something's over there, but I think we got everything there. Checkpoint. We. Uh-oh, ghosts. Ghosts galore. Indeed. These ghosts have hammers. Mallets. That is uh, not very friendly. <laughs> but we're not going to be friendly to them either. Eat them up good. And then, going along here. We've already been there before, so we're going to try taking this path here using the popper pad. And... Interesting over here. Oh, we landed right on top of the ghost. That's pretty scary. Pretty spooky. And there's another one. Oh, boy. When there's at least two ghosts, or even one sometimes, you can get trapped. We can handle that. We can trap them. Eat him up good. Oh, still need another dot. It's another pack pellet. Now oh, we got full health now. It looks like we need a switch to turn on that one. Alright. Well done. Oh, get this guy too. <laughs> Alright, wonder where that uh, other place le leads us there. We're gonna... Oh, it's another switch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Now we have turned it on. Alright. Ooh, and look at this. This will help us out. Yes, it will. So, make sure you don't go on the reset token again. Because we need to be able to use what we just put into place. Uh-oh. Scary ghosts all over the place. Whoa. Okay. And now we have jumped on a new place pad. We've gotten an apple, a flying rocket, a thousand points, to a heart that we don't need, but a heart that we do need. It's a golden heart again. We have just increased the amount of health that we have. Once more, as you can see, it went from being a tiny puny bar to something much better. And maybe it'll get even better. Who knows? And now we've got another checkpoint. And uh, let's see what we're doing this time. Well, it seems like we're going to get another checkpoint. <laughs> Interesting how some checkpoints are almost right next to each other. wonder why that is. And then... Looks like there's a couple different places we can go, but we're gonna go 
downwards because that's the only way we can go. Ha <laughs> ha. Ooh. Yes, these ghost ships. Ghost pirate ships. Except in space. Ooh, extra life for 10,000 points. A little bit of damage. Alright. This time we're gonna give the ghosts a little eaten there. Alright. <laughs> Whoa, flying up in the air. 200, 400 points. And this isn't so bad. We have another puzzle here. Oops. Something's wrong over there. Oh, we got a key now. Very nice. Oops. Let's try the reset token. Alright. Let's see. What do we have to do? That's well. Hmm. We're probably going to have to push TNT that's here. And that didn't make any sense. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. I'm being fooled by simple puzzles here. <laughs> Very funny, isn't it, folks? But don't worry. We'll be able to do it now. <laughs> Looks like all we have to really do is push one TNT crate over to the skull crates. Indeed, if they were Crash Bandicoot, they would be the Nitro crates. But this isn't the Crash Bandicoot. So we have gotten pair. Alright. Ooh, scary. Boing. And now all we need is a banana and a few, uh, couple hundred dots. We have the blue key, so we're gonna use that to go in this way. And looks like we're gonna eat some more ghosts. Very nice. Alright. I saw another key over there. Looks like it'll go to there. Ooh, a pink ghost this time. Now, I know in uh, other Pac-Man games, depending on what color ghost they are, it usually seems to go with uh, how their behavior goes. Like if they'll chase you or if they'll just run around randomly. But I don't know if that's the case for this game. Because it seems like they all have the same mindset. And that's, uh, sometimes they get you and sometimes they don't. <laughs> Alright, completed that. And it's also a very nice, easy game because they always stay blue and then they go to white for the, the longest time, you know. I remember playing other Pac-Man games where if you, uh, if you get hit, I think. No, not if you get hit, but uh, in the later stages, they do turn to... Uh, from the blue to white pretty quickly and then they'll get you pretty quickly as well I feel like I'm missing something but uh, I think we're doing alright yep alright it's a red key that we're gonna have to find eventually okay ooh how about that another blue key alright they're really trying to fool us here with lots of keys. But that doesn't fool us. And this, since this is such a long stage, you know, I forgot this stage was so long, we're gonna have to break uh, this one up into parts for you guys there. But don't worry, it seems like we found a red key. So we'll know exactly where we're supposed to be going. Alright. So I suppose this is, uh... Stage 7's uh, part 1, and then we're going to see you right on this bridge over here for the part 8, which will be the next part of the stage 7. See you then.